Hey there, Stampin' Friends. Welcome to Movie Monday with Jody Breckbill, Stampin' Queen. I'm here every Monday on YouTube to bring you a cool new video. And today's project we are gonna create was Strong of Heart. So we are focusing on that stamp set. This is a Make a Difference stamp set. It is in our July through December 2021 mini catalog. And every catalog we come out with a Make a Difference stamp. So I don't know if you were aware of that or not. All you need to look for is this little logo in your next catalog. And this one in particular, as I said, is called Strong of Heart. And this one is going to benefit uh, heart health. So we don't have a specific a nonprofit that we donate to because this is a global type thing. So depending on where the market is, we are donating $3 from the purchase of every stamp set to a nonprofit in support of Heart Health. So I like to always make sure you guys are aware that Stampin' Up! loves to make a difference while we stamp and do something that we love. So as I said, I am Jody Breckbill and I am an independent demonstrator in Pennsylvania. And I am so happy that you are here sharing your Monday with us. I come on YouTube every Monday, so make sure you do uh, follow and subscribe to my YouTube channel so that way you never miss anything. A uh, quick reminder that you can shop my online store anytime, day or night, 24-7, 365. Just head right over here to jodybreckbill.stampinup.net. This is the host code for October. This one is winding down. It's going to close out soon. But if you're not an online shopper, that's totally cool. You can always message me here. And as well as if you ever have any questions or need any help with anything, I am more than happy to help you out. If you do not have a current demonstrator that you work with and you are in need of some catalogs, I do offer them for free. So we have this one all the way through December. We'll have a new one coming out in January. And then we have our annual catalog, which is available now as well, all the way through uh, to next spring. So also keep in mind, you can head over and join me on Facebook. This is my Facebook page. You can run right over there and ask to follow me. I am there live every single Wednesday with some more stamping for you guys. All right, now I know why you guys are here, so let's go ahead and get started. I have four cool projects I wanna share with you focusing on that beautiful stamp set. So we're gonna start off, these are super simple cards. I am a super simple stamper. I want to make lots of cards and I want to make them quickly and easily. So we're going to start off with some real red. This is eight and a half by five and a half, our standard card base here in the U.S. And do I have all my goodies? Yes, I do. There we go. Now I have two punches. I did these with our heart punches. This one I embossed ahead of time using this cute little embossing folder. This works with both of our die cut machine. So if you have the mini or what I call the baby boss, this little embossing folder will work with that as well. And so that's punched out a real red. And then I have a polished pink that I punched the scallop heart out of, and we can attach those two together now. And then we'll do a little bit of quick stamping. There we go. So I'm just gonna use some scrap paper here and a real red ink pad. I am looking and I noticed the one thing that I did forget was my stamp cleaner. So hold please. Luckily it's not too far away. All right, so real red and then we're gonna use this like color wash and we're just gonna stamp a couple hearts in the background on our Whisper White. I'm just using that little bit of scrap paper so that I don't get any on my table. There we go, I think that shall work. Now we're gonna, we're gonna need that one a little later, so I'm gonna go ahead and clean it with my Stampin' Chamois here. If you guys don't have a Stampin' Chamois, oh my goodness, you guys, it is an amazing tool. All right, so let's go ahead and attach this to our card base. I 
notice the sun is starting to peek out, so I might get some glare here. I work close to my window, so I love to have the natural light. So we might get a little glare coming in. Now I'm gonna take this one and I'm gonna add that with some dimensionals. So I just want it to have a little bit of raised up. Raised upness, maybe that should be a new word. There we are. Then I have a little strip. This was just some scrap paper I had laying around and I'm gonna stamp my sentiment on here. Stronger than you know. So I am sure you know someone who might need a little pick-me-up card. And let's notch our edges with our pick a banner punch. There we go. And this is way longer than I need. So I'm just going to snip off the end right here. A little adhesive on this end and then a little dimensional on this end. And that should be just what the doctor ordered. There we go. Such a fun, quick, easy card. Now I did come in with a little bit of bling. Do I have my tool? Yes. I want to use my take your pick tool and I'm just going to add a couple little red gems from this is these are the holiday rhinestones or the holiday yeah holiday rhinestones so just add a couple little red gems there and that just kind of takes that card up just a notch so there we are simple easy card number one let's do another one so this time I've got some pink here. So I've got polished pink and smoky slate. So we'll take our, our polished pink, that's our card base, so we're just gonna fold that one in half. There's our base. Then ahead of time, I took another piece of four and a quarter by no five and a quarter by four polished pink and i ran that through the embossing folder ahead of time this one i can't think of the name it's time time worn type i think sorry about my glare um time worn type i believe and it is in that holiday mini catalog as well so i'm going to attach this to our card base and it just gives a little bit of vintage kind of distressed look to the background. There we are. Actually, you know what? If I look at that close enough, I just put it on upside down. There are some words on here. So let's see if I can carefully turn it. There we go. I don't think anyone would notice, but I would. Now, there's our smoky slate piece. I've got my piece of white, and I want some basic gray ink. And I'm gonna ink up the heart with the flower. I'm just gonna stamp that a little bit offset here. There we are. Now I'll grab my polished pink ink and I'm gonna ink up that color wash that we used a little bit earlier. And I wanna stamp it off just one time so it is a little bit lighter to fit right on, over top of that heart. So it just looks like I did a little bit of a color wash. Grab my sentiment. And that's going to go right down here in the corner. There we are. Now I do want to add some color. So I have my blends. Let's find the right ones here. Do I have polished pink, polished pink, dark, polished pink light. So I'm going to do just down here in the bottom of the flower. I'm just realizing you guys, I don't have my, I don't have my glasses on this morning. Uh Oh, let's see how well I do. 
I'm a bifocal babe, so I really am relying on these bifocals these days. Are they on my head? Nope, not today. I was getting ready to go take my dog for a walk, and I thought, oh my goodness, I forgot to do my video. So I'm coming in now with my light polished pink. So I thought, well, I'll do that real quick, and while my video is uploading, I'll go take the dog for a walk. So my glasses, I took my glasses off for sunglasses. So hopefully my coloring is staying within the lines. There we go. So I don't know if you can see how you have just a little bit of dark there at the bottom just for shading by using those two shades of blends, the light and the dark together. Now I did stamp that with um, basic gray, you notice. So most of the time we suggest memento black, but the basic gray, as long as you're careful that you don't really color too much to create bleed, you can actually use some of the other ink pads with it as well. So let's go ahead and do, I need a green. So what do I have here? This is Mint Macaron Light. So I'm just gonna go in here and color in some of these leaves. There we are. So now we'll attach that to our layer of smoky slate. And then probably add some dimensionals to that. That's a little tight there, but we're gonna go for it. That's just like a 1 8 inch border around there, just a little bit of gray. And then I always put one in the middle for luck or sag either way. Alrighty. Did I get that one? Nope. So there we go. There is card number two. Very simple, heartfelt, through the struggle comes strength. So it's a fantastic card. Amazing. All right. Let's move on to our third card. This one we're gonna go with a little bit of purple. My favorite, purple and black. So we've got basic black. That is our card base. Oops, I must have a little, something a little sticky there. Just This is just scrap paper, so it's not a big deal. And I have some of our heartfelt designer series paper. So just a little swatch of that for color. We'll add that here on the corner or the edge, I guess I should say. And that's Highland Heather is the purple that we're using today. Now we can attach this to our card base. There we are. Took a piece of white and we're going to ink this one up with our Memento Black. Now, I like to ink it up so that this is a big stamp. It's fairly good size, and so I like to keep it with the stamp up, and then I just tap the ink pad to it. That way, because you see right there, I got a little bit of ink down inside there, and I want to make sure I don't catch that when I actually go to stamp. So I like to stamp that way, and then I just turn it and then stamp so sometimes I leave my stamp face up, if that makes that making sense to you. Now, while we have our ink out, let's go ahead and stamp our little sentiment right there. This one is, you amaze me. So we'll just put that right here on that little tiny piece. And that's it for stamping. We're going to do a little color. I'm going to move some things. I'm getting a little bit tight here and I'm coming off camera. My goodness, my goodness. Highland Heather, we have the coordinating blends. So I'm gonna do the same thing here with my dark. I'm just gonna kind of outline where a normal flower would be dark, where it might have some shading.
and then come in with the Highland Heather Light. So if you're not familiar with blends, these are alcohol markers. And I am a super fan. I love the blends. So the nice thing about blends is you can keep going over and over and over. And because they're alcohol, they're drying while you're coloring, which means it's not going to pill your cardstock or make it super wet. So you're able to add lots and lots of shading. The more you go over, the darker the color gets because you're adding layer after layer after layer. There we go. Now we need a little bit of green. So what do I have here? I have an old olive light. So we'll just do our leaves right here. There we are. Now we'll add this to our mat of basic black. And if you look in the description of this video, I will be putting the dimensions. So if you wanna make these at home, just look in the description. You can also find uh, follow me there. So I would highly encourage you guys, if you love what I share, you never want to miss anything. You want to be the first one for my announcements and specials and sales. You want to make sure you are on my mailing list. And that link will be in the description as well. So there we go. Then we will just put our amaze, you amaze me right there. And I think... I thought maybe I had some little dimensionals. Yes, I do. I'm just going to put a little dimensional right there. And there is our You Amaze Me. Now for a final touch, I do have some of these cool gems. And I thought maybe I'll just put a little purple one right there. Isn't that cute? So another quick and easy card. All right, we have one more. Let's clear some space a little bit here. I've got quite the mess. And this one we're doing black and white. So we'll fold our card in half. There's our card base with basic white. Then we have a piece of black and we have a piece of white. We're gonna use that heart, that same heart again, stamp that in the memento. There we are. And while we have it, let's go ahead and add our sentiment down here at the bottom because our ink is open. You amaze me. Now the color I chose this time was Melon Mambo. And this is kind of a dark, a dark pink. So I am actually gonna stamp it off two times. So I've got my scrap paper and I'm gonna stamp it once, stamp it twice. Well, maybe not. Let me see what three times looks like. Yeah, let's do a third time. Um, I had a team event and this is the card they were making. So my ink pad is probably a little bit drier than it normally would be so it probably could stand getting some juice to it but I just want a nice light color wash on that background then we have melon mambo this is real red there's a melon and there's a melon so we've got our melon melon mambo blends same deal just going to color in these pretty little flowers so you're definitely getting a lesson on blends today if you're watching along with me. There we go. This really just makes those flowers stand out against the heart.
There we go. Now we need a green. And I think I'm going to go, oh, I've got granny apple here. Let's go with granny apple green. Just so that we have those leaves with a little bit of color. There we are. Now I'm going to attach this to this one to our basic black, and then we're going to add a little bit of ribbon. We need a, just a smidge of ribbon on this one. So I've got my crinkle seam binding here. Just take a little bit, and I just all I need to do is just tack it around the back. That way I'm not wasting ribbon on the back side of my card. Cover those edges and we'll add that to our card base. And then I can take a little bit, I'm gonna make it myself a bow. So all I need to do is slide this underneath here. And tie myself a bow. This seam binding is very cool because it will work. It's real easy to work with and it can be colored if you wish. So you could actually make this pink if you wanted to. And then you can kind of just fuss around with it. Trim off whatever is too long. And then finally, I thought I had some black gems. Let's see, here they are. We've got some of our matte black dots and we'll just add, oh, I'm out of putty. We might need to get some more. I'm, I'm running out of dots and I'm running out of the putty. There we go. So just a couple matte black dots on there just for a little pop of color. So let's see. Here are our beautiful cards that we created. Very quick, very easy using the Strong of Heart stamp set, which is a make a difference. Like I said, $3 from the sale of each stamp set will actually go to nonprofits that help with heart health. So thanks so much for joining me, friends. Don't, subs don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and come on back here every single Monday for Movie Monday. Have a great week, friends.